welcome students in this video we will try to understand about how to switch between the sql server authentication mode you know that sql server is having two authentication mode one is its own security that is called as sql server authentication and second is our operating system security that is termed as windows authentication so first of all i will try to log in with the sql server with the help of our windows authentication so i run this particular management studio as an administrator and you can find when i'm trying to log in with this sql server by using this sql server management studio it asks me would you like to log into database engine i say yes i would like to log into database engine what is the name of the server currently i'm having sql express and what is the authentication mode is it with the sql server authentication or a windows authentication or a active uh, directory authentication with the multi factor authentication at the mfa and many other Uh, they are all these three are basically along with the cloud that is azure but i would like to work with what your windows authentication because that is enabled by default now i give a click on the connect so right now i had connected by using windows authentication i need to do certain changes to make this sql server available with our sql server authentication also let's see what changes are needed first thing you need to go to security go to login Normally, our SA is a system administrator, and you can uh, look at this particular sign. You can see it is a disabled user. So I can just enable the user by going to properties. Under the properties, select over here the option called as status. Enable the permission. Go to general, and set up the password. Suppose I am setting some password over here. I set up some password. Confirm the password. I will give it a click on OK. So first thing is what enable this particular SA as a user. Second, you please give a right click on SQL Express or any kind of SQL Server instance which you have. Go to properties. Here you will get the option that is termed as security, and you can find that currently the server authentication mode is only Windows authentication mode. So make it as SQL Server as well as Windows authentication mode, and then give a click on OK. a message is displayed to you that some features will be enabled only when we restart the service so we need to go for restart in the service by giving the right click on sql express and select the option named as restart so this will be what this will be restarting this particular service you click on yes and now i am able to connect to this sql server by using a system administrator user account as well as by using the windows authentication Let's try to check. So I just plan to go for disconnecting this, and again I'm planning to go for connecting to database engine. You can see currently I can connect by using Windows authentication. If I disconnected, and if I'm trying to connect again, but by using uh, not a Windows authentication, but by using SQL Server authentication, then I require to give a username as SA and password, whatever is being entered by you in settings, then give a click on connect. so this way i'm enabling my user to get connected with my sql server either by using windows authentication or by using the sql server authentication this is needed because we will not be always working with the windows authentication when we are doing the database programming so we need to have a sql server authentication also enabled with it in our next video i will be showing you how to build a connection string or how to copy and from where to copy the connection string when we are working with what your visual studios asp dotnet projects okay so thanks a lot for today